Genesis 10, 29. Ophir, Havala, Jomon, all these are the sons of Jokin. Now, I believe um, part of this is the descendant of what um, Abraham would be. So, uh, I believe it's Jokin himself. Um, but anyway, this was the line of Shem. Uh, the Semites would be taken from this name. Um, okay. Uh, 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 Jose. Thirteen, twelve through fourteen. Thirteen, twelve through fourteen. The iniquity of Ephraim is bound up; his sin is hid. The sorrows of the trailing woman shall come upon him. He is our unwise son, and he should not stay long in the place of breaking forth the children. I ransom them from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. O oh, death, I will be your plague. O oh, grave, I will be your destruction. Repentance shall be hid from mine eyes. So, Ephraim is a reference to um, this the tribe, but it would have referenced all of northern Israel, I believe. Um, all of Israel. For the most part, this is one of the major groups, but it may particularly be pointing out Ephraim because of their sins. I believe the pagan idol temples were mainly in Ephraim, um, and that's what he's referring to the fact that they're, they're falling away from him. Uh, pains of a woman in childbirth come to me, but the child is without wisdom. When the time arrives, he doesn't have the sense to come out of the womb. This could mean miscarriages. They were doing some stuff. Um, this could also be a reference to them doing infant sacrifice, which is very likely that they were doing maybe sacrificing pregnant women um uh, 14 I will deliver these people from the power of the grave, and I will redeem them from death. You know, he's given them a promise. You know, but we only have a promise in him if we turn to him. They had to turn to him. You know, we only can defeat the grave by Christ who defeated the grave first. And it's symbolic of this. This is symbolic of that. Scripture's whole, what was and what is. Um, Christ is referenced to the entire Bible. So the power of the grave is Jesus. Redeemed from death is Jesus. They don't understand that. But salvation is through Jesus, and because God's plan was always the redemption of the cross, was what it's referencing here. No matter what we feel, Christ still saves today. 